So we're given the foci and the transverse axis, length 2. Yeah, it's actually, um, so we're going from foci, which is at negative 1, and then 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so those are my two foci. Now, I know that now this is a vertical transverse axis, meaning my a squared is under my y squared. Okay, and also we can identify the center by finding the midpoint, right, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2. So 0 plus 0 divided by 2 is 0. Negative 1 plus 4 divided by 2 is 3 halves, right? So my center is a fraction. Now, you could think of 3 halves as like 1.5, right? I mean, if you need to. Um, or we could just use like the distance formula, or we could just use like, you know, the dis distance between them to kind of figure out their, the values. Because we need to figure out the distance from the center to your foci, right? Which is C, correct? So we could think about this as 1.5, or I could simply say C is equal to 4 minus 3 halves, which is not really that crazy of mathematics. You just change that to 8 halves minus 3 halves, and that equals 5 halves. All right. Oh, thanks for doing that little fraction tutorial at the beginning of class on the warm up, so we're prepared for this. Okay. You could just use decimals. You have a calculator, but again, I don't want you guys to be scared just because you have a fraction where c is equal to five halves. Um, the next one is they give us the transverse axis length of two. Transverse axis is going to be our axis from our vertex to our vertex or between our two vertices. So therefore, we can say two a is equal to two, right? Because the distance from the center to your vertex is a, so the distance from the vertice from between your two vertices would be 2a. So therefore, a is equal to 1. Well, guys, if I know a and I know c, can I find b? Of course. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 1 squared plus b squared equals 5 halves squared. Ooh, that's not going to be fun. So. 1 plus b squared equals 25 fourths. Subtract 1, subtract 1. Could I rewrite 1 as a better number instead of um, to subtract it from 25 fourths? What would be a good number to subtract? 4 fourths, right? Just rewrite this as 4 fourths. So therefore, I can see that b squared is equal to 21 fourths. Right. Still not a very nice number, but at least we got something, right? So we have a vertical transverse axis. My center is my h and my k. So therefore, I'm going to do y minus k. So y minus k in this case is 3 halves squared. That has to be over my a squared, which is 1. So that one's kind of easy. Minus x minus h. h is 0. So we're just going to do x squared over b squared, which is 21 over 4 equals 1. Now, technically, that is correct. But I will tell you guys, on a multiple choice example, that would probably never be seen. Okay? So that means we need to do something to maybe make it a little bit easier to look at, a little bit maybe prettier. This is supposed to be a minus. So the reason why we don't like this, guys, we don't like taking fractions divided by fractions. Like That's kind of like a lot. So um, instead of taking x squared, dividing it by a fraction, instead of dividing by a fraction, we could always multiply by the Reciprocal. So instead of dividing by 21 fourths, we could multiply this. We could multiply x squared by 4 21sts. And that actually gives us a better looking equation. Which is more typical of what you would see on an exam. It's not wrong. It's just not really in the form that's, you know, it's not all done up like for prom, all right? It's not as, you know, it's had to get this nice tux on, cut the sleeves.